Hi there, and welcome to QR code creation. Today, I'm going to teach you a little bit about QR codes, most importantly, how to create one and why you would want to create one. So let's go ahead and get started. The QR code that we are going to set up today, it is going to lead us to a website. It's going to lead us to my link tree, which I've already got set up for us here. So let's go ahead and get started. The QR creator website that I like to use is right here. It's qr-monkey.com. Um, and the reason that I like it is because you can add in a logo and you can download it super easily. I mean, this is, you'll see it only is gonna take us a couple moments to check it out. So I'm gonna have it link us to my link tree. So I'm gonna copy the URL. And then I'm going to pop my URL here in this first tab, URL, enter content, your URL. And there it is. So you could turn this on for statistics and editability. However, that is an additional cost with this website. I like to stick to the free site because it's it really is going to give you everything that you need to know. So you can even do things as far as like setting up the color, whether you wanted a single color, uh, gradient color, background color for today, since it's going to be based on fast real estate, I'm just going to make it red and black. And then logo image, we can upload any logo that we would like. So I'm going to go ahead and upload one of these. There we go. Our fast logo. Boom. There we go. Um, if you wanted to, you could remove this background behind the logo. I like to just leave it on here. And you can even create like a custom design of what it would look like. Um, I just like to stick with the standard QR code that we're all used to seeing. So that's how you set this up. Now you could go over here and set it up as a text, including in some information. You could make it go to your email. That way when people take a picture or hold their phone up to the QR code, it'll send them into their email box and they'll be able to send you an email. You can also do uh, have it connect to your phone number, V cards, your Facebook, Twitter. I mean, really, you can have this QR code set up in many different ways to where it's going to give you the best use of what you would like to see. So let's say that we are trying to get someone over to our business Facebook page because we like to include information there with market stats and things like this this would be a great QR code to create then. What you would do is you would pop in your Facebook URL. Like I stated in the beginning, we're gonna focus on the URL that we're gonna be creating. I've already shown you how to set these up. Now it's super, super easy. Since we've got all this info already in here, we set these up already. We're just gonna hit create QR code. There we go. That's what that QR code is gonna look like. So you can download it as a PNG. You can also download it as these other um, types of files. The reason that we want to download it as a PNG is because that is how folks are able to hold up their phone to the QR code and see where it's going to lead them to next. Um, a lot of times that we've seen this during the pandemic is if we're out at restaurants and we're using it to look up a menu, right? Uh, we can use this at open houses is one great example. Use this as an open house targeting tool so that when people come into the home, you can have your QR code set up to where it will lead them to an intake page. And on this intake page, you can ask questions such as what's your email address, mailing address, uh, are you working with an agent, things like this, that way you can try to capture as much lead gen as you can. So once we've got this downloaded, there we go, it's going to download for us here. So let's talk about uh, reasons that you would want a QR code. It's, it's really quite simple. It's just to redirect the client or the consumer into wherever you would like them to go, whether it's your website, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, things like this. So it's generally, you can think of it as a redirection tool for your needs, whether that's at open houses, whatever it might be. So let's go ahead and open up our QR code here. I'm going to show you what it looks like now that it's been downloaded. 
So this is what it'll look like. What you can do is you can print this out and just take it with you wherever you go. We are seeing a lot of folks use this as uh, in, in their um, marketing. So they'll put it out on their signs, uh, on their signposts. So that way it will redirect folks to the specific listing website. Let's say that you're listing 123 Main Street, it'll take them right to that website as long as you have that URL matching the property address, uh, website address that you want them to be directed to. If you have any questions about how to create URLs, uh, like I said, it's been pretty uh, an easy thing for us to learn here. There are many more advanced techniques to it. However, um, this is the most basic training on it. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you guys have any additional questions as well. Thank you.